by video games and so on so it was not really um, right thing in that sense and uh, i was rather bored uh, bored and so on but but uh, uh, but uh, to to talk about these things uh, is writing is i think uh, partially partially par partially writing is of cause an issue that you have to be some sort of a uh, not gifted i would not say that you have to specially gifted for writing but it is rather the way you have to to think about it i mean this is like you could say yeah that the typical over thinker he does not find anyone to talk to and that's why he writes it down yeah now writing is a uh, i think has nothing to do whether about language or or whether you are gifted to any language or what it is rather really that you have this urge or, or something to sit down and write and i don't and then uh, the next thing is, is that i think that writing this is my personal opinion is not a is not uh, something you you cannot learn i do not i do not think that you 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 just uh, sit there and wait until the muse kisses you or, or something at least it did never happen to me because i always actively engage engage in the thematic i mean i try to create stories for example uh, that one one good advice for writing is you have to read but not you should not read anything that could grab them that you can Yeah, but really things that interest you and the second thing is that fiction i mean you can create a world in 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 entirely out of your imagination but this is rather very a uh, time consuming and it it rather always sounds some sort of still state it is not it is not authentic it is somewhat distant whereas if you create stories from your daily life and if you and and especially after you observe them then you see that there is a a lot a plethora of material you can use to, i mean this is we people we always think and me i was like that i mean i thought ah, my daily life is boring i mean there are no stories to tell yeah what yeah well that's not true you only have to observe it you have to see it because in my time i'm a millennial i'm a millennial in in my generation it is normal that that, that people hide hide and conceal their true true feelings their, their their identity so even though we live in a in a age of social media and but social media have some sort of became only a social etiquette so 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 Uh, what people expect you to be so so role this is the role we are playing whereas your true secret or not uh, whereas your true self is somehow sort of in the background because uh, it is somehow it is not represent present present table it is or it is uh, somehow it is not it is uh, against against social expect expect only only think about those dating sites i mean who is honest on those dating sites when it comes to who they are i mean we we pretty much know what we want i mean i mean a, a partner uh, uh to to love of course but who is really honest with them uh, with them selbst who is on honest with their weaknesses with with uh, what uh, what they they are capable to the same as with job uh, job apply, applications i mean i'm i can only speak for myself i mean i'm an introvert i don't like talking to many people i don't i'm not very social but every time when i was asked at a job apply, application are you are you capable to work in a team i would always say yes because i assume this is expected for me and i know if i would say no no, no i'm not very social then i uh, probably would not get the job so i think uh, somehow this 
in our millennial age it has come to the uh, we have some sort of gained the notion that we have to uh, put back our true self and if you write if you write you or one of the reasons why you why you stand in front of a blank paper and uh, and you don't know what to write about is because you see or consider your personal life as boring i mean this but but if you observe it if you if you look at it then you see there there are some interesting stuff i mean i don't mean interesting stuff in sort of voyeurism i think if you write a book or anything and if anything comparable i would say yeah 50 percent is 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 uh, real and uh, and 50 percent is fiction of course cause you should know uh, you have to change some f things identities and so on never the less but uh, our personal life uh, uh, no matter how boring they seem they can be a great source of of uh, of of uh, of uh, uh, experiences and knowledges because when i went to school when I went to the university, in the university, uh, most of the students were from the middle class and they partially did not know uh, what life, life in the, uh, uh, as, uh, in the working classes. I mean, they would all read Bourdieu, they would all, all read Marxist literature, but no one of them really knew how the middle class, uh, how the working class are doing uh, or, or, or how the working class is really thinking as well as how migrants um, uh, the, the, the perception of migrants I mean there are in Austria this this is something one needs to talk about as well is that that in Austria the Turkish uh, minority uh, the Turkish migrants, they are a little bit struggling to keep up with the host society in, in terms of education, in terms of social, uh, social and cultural country, contribution. And this is the reason why in the universities and so on, that there are not many migrants. So the, it does not mirror, mirror the, the total percent touch of 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 uh, migrants living in in the society however but if you write about things that uh, i would say this is the, like you i i had to writing always some sort of a approach like you would write in the university a, a seminar paper and this would mean that you get information this this information can be brainstorming i mean uh, i mean uh, and, and i would always start in my own world I mean, just, I mean, there are a lot of things happened in my world i mean some of them um, uh, tragically uh, some of them very tragic and and, and, and and yeah but 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 it is not only about i think writing i mean i know if i talk about this, I mean, oh, yeah, I use material for my world, yeah, but it all sounds some sort of voyeuristic, I mean, oh, he, seeks, he seeks some stories, but I f think writing has, as well as uh, some sort of a self-therapy, therapeutic element in it, I mean, you, if I write, I mean, you, you somehow speak things from your soul, I mean, everyone knows this, if you love, if you write a love novel, and if you imagine uh, this uh, this uh, person you you want to be with or you were with and did and then it it did not work out and then in, in those novels then you always imagine uh, how could could it have worked out or why didn't it work out I mean it is some sort of self healing or why this or or you ruminate uh, uh, over the same issues over over and over again so it is not about voyeurism to exploit life stories to 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 sell them 
so, so it is fiction after all so no, no but it is uh, it has as well as uh, many self um, it it talks about you every story is about you but as well as it is about the people you met along which and and then you work through it you you work it out you sort it out i mean as as an author as an author you have this privilege you do not have to pay a psychiatrist no you you can write write this stuff off your off your chest no matter how bad and good it is but however i i don't think that you have to be gifted to to become a writer i think you can become a writer with practice and there are the many good examples especially in the science fiction community there are many science fiction fans who later become writers and uh, and uh, and a very remarkable one so 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 i f think writing has nothing mystically on it but the start is always difficult because we are like i said the last and we are somehow always discouraged from f uh, from sharing our own thoughts because yeah, it is somehow our our own lives uh, they are being demeaned they wouldn't mean anything at least this is how i perceived it but if you keep writing then uh, then uh, you gain confidence i mean i heard about i mean i'm not sure whether this is true or wrong but i heard that mark twain would sit down every day and would write five pages um this is and, and, uh, and this is i think a good uh, uh, a good idea or, or at least i took it to heart when i started writing that every day i would try to write a certain amount of words if it is thousand or two two thousand words and and then you f you feel this uh, somehow you the more you write the more you have it in your feeling in your heart it, it becomes easier to write this is like exercising or if you run an run a marathon the f first time if you try to lower, run i don't know five miles or or seven kilometers then you will be exhausted but then more and more you get used to it more and more your your, your mind can um, adapt to it and it is easier to write i think and 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 one thing of of course one needs to talk about is that writing is never only only and solely for 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 uh, for the sake of art I mean, I mean, writing is as well as about. I mean, of course, you wanna uh, uh, make a living. I mean, every everyone dreams of it. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't dream of, of uh, that? You can solely dedicate your life to working, to writing. I mean, I I'm a passionate philosopher. I, I uh, philosophy is my life. And then, and, and, and uh, it, it would be amazing if I could dedicate my life in in in, in, in philosophy. However, and this is what you and this is, but it is not as well as about the money. I mean, you have to be aware that every story you write about, every story you tell, of course, they have something personal of you. They are part of you, and not only from you, but of your world. I mean, if I write. Uh, if I write about stuff, then uh, I write, I write mostly about stuff what happened to me, the people I meet in my world, and I, I mean, I, of course, I have, I, I, I am with prejudice, prejudice, I have prejudices, but I, I try to be fair, I try to depict people, people in a fair way. However, but this is somehow my world, and I, of, of, of course you want people to acknowledge this to like this and uh, i mean who wouldn't i mean this is part of you but uh, but, but of course uh, as an author in general there are only few who really made it i mean uh, i mean uh, 